What do Ben and Jerry's ice cream, a Japanese octopus trap, and the rom-com tab on Netflix all have in common? They're all related to the universal sensation of heartbreak. We know you, yes, you are all too familiar with the feeling of heartbreak, the loss of appetite, sleep deprivation, non-stop sobbing, and the heart attacks. You may be thinking, there's no way a doctor could seriously diagnose you with a broken heart, and you can't possibly experience a heart attack from a measly breakup. Right? Well, Brainiacs, in today's video, we discuss the science of a broken heart, like how our bodies, as well as our minds, are affected. We'll also chat about broken heart syndrome and how getting dumped can lead to heart attack like symptoms. Plus, if you stick with us to the very end, Brainiacs, we'll fill you in on how to get over a breakup according to good old science. You don't need us to remind you that breakups absolutely suck. There's something about them that sends you to spiral out of control with obsessive thoughts, uncontrollable longing, and, all thanks to social media, some mild stalking. So what happens exactly to our brains when we join the population of Splitsville? In a recent study conducted on a college campus, researchers looked at a group of broken-hearted 20-somethings to study their brains post-breakup. The posters scattered around campus read, have you been rejected by love? Give us a call. And boy, did their inbox flood. Using an MRI, researchers compared the brain scans of the subjects when they experienced a mild pain versus a look at a photo of their ex. Turns out the part of our brain that lights up when we experience pain is also stimulated shortly after a breakup. This may explain why we feel real physiological effects after getting dumped. Just think about the language we use when we talk about how we feel after a breakup. My heart has been ripped out, or I've been slapped in the face. Researchers also found that the reward system of the brain lights up like a Christmas tree when the subjects looked at these photos. Interestingly, this is also the same part of the brain that's linked to addiction. This suggests that we feel the sensations of pain because our brain registers that this person who won once brought us joy, has decided to no longer send us a feel-good, good-morning text message. Other studies also show that our cortisol levels, our body's built-in alarm system, begins to race when people are separated from their loved ones. But what really interests the fancy folks in white coats these days is tokutsubo cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome. The name comes from a Japanese octopus trap and how the heart of an intensely broken-hearted person resembles this fishing tool. On top of a deformed heart, broken heart syndrome patients also experience heart attack-like symptoms, only none of their arteries are blocked. Every year, 6,000 cases of broken heart syndrome occur in the United States with 90% of patients being women over the age of 50. So it's clear our bodies react in very real ways after couples split up, but what does science have to say about how we get over for a breakup. Sure, spending the day watching endless romantic comedies is comforting, but at the same time, you need to click no when Netflix asks if you're still watching. You can't just lie there for days on end, so what tangible steps can be taken to get you into some clean clothes and one step closer to getting back out there? Science suggests that we use the research of breaking bad habits to help us move on. The first step is to stay away from triggers or cues. If you want to stop eating popcorn, this method would have you avoid a movie theater. When it comes to exes, researchers say block their Instagram, stow away gifts, and delete the text messages. If you need to get over someone immediately, heck, go live somewhere else entirely. But if it isn't entirely possible for you to uproot your whole life, research also recommends negative reappraisal. This is a fancy scientific way to say that you should keep reminding yourself what a loser your ex was. We have a tendency to pour our hearts out to friends and family about what we miss about our ex. But what about bursting out what you won't miss about your ex? I mean, did you see them donate to charity? Ever? They're indifferent to kittens. Ugh, what an awful person. If by now you still haven't been able to dig yourself out of your breakup hole, hold on to your hats, Brainiacs, because there is some good in goodbye. From an evolutionary standpoint, a moderate level of grief serves an adaptive purpose. Intense breakups help us avoid risky behavior, recalibrates our personal values, and allows us to seek out better future relationships. After the grieving process, you can expect to feel stronger, more independent, and happier for connecting with friends, family, and others you may have lost contact with while you were preoccupied with your last relationship. Brainiacs, with the New Year just around the corner, it's time to make a clean break from your ex. So do it. Delete those text messages, erase the phone number, archive the Instagram posts, or better yet, just bury the phone on the ground. And while we know that science alone can't mend your broken heart, we've got plenty of material to distract you from your loser ex. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. We're here for you and your science-related questions, even if your ex isn't.